Hey everybody, welcome back to the garage. Welcome back to Pretzel's Garage. I'm Pretzel, and this video is going to be addressing my wiring harness for my Monster Moto Predator Swapped mini bike. So, I got a couple of comments on my Instagram and on YouTube about my wiring harness, and this video will explain it. So, right here. Right where my finger is. This is the positive lead of my battery. This battery is a 12 amp, 12 volt, 9 amp hour battery I got off of Amazon. Now off this battery is the positive. It goes off to this terminal block right here. Off this terminal block, it splits off. One feeds the switch that powers the operational lights. And one feeds the switch for the underglow, which I have disconnected. They're sitting over here. Now from, from the underglow switch, it's pretty simple. It just feeds up to this block right here. And in this block, it has these wires in it. And then... The what the negatives right here will go into this negative terminal block, and that will complete that circuit so the lights will turn on. Now from this switch, that from the operational light switch, it goes into this big terminal block here. Out of this terminal block, I have a white wire that goes to this tail light fixture that is my operational, that's my running tail light. Now this red, this red feeds my high beam and low beam switch. The yellow feeds my brake light switch and this other red feeds my flasher unit. Now from the flasher unit this white wire goes up through this harness up to my handlebar and that gives the flasher signal up to the turn signal switch on my handlebar control. Also coming going up through this main harness here is the green the orange wire which is hooked to the green of the tail light that is my left turn signal. Now the blue which is hooked up to the yellow of the tail light that is the right turn signal and then the green wire that's in this harness is hooked up to the red which is hooked up to the the brake light on this tail light. Now I bought this tail light on Amazon. I bought all the lights on Amazon. I bought the flasher unit on Amazon. I can leave links in the description below. If you want to know what these terminal box are, they're just Wagos. They have this cool little orange tab that you can, you know, pull up and then slide out and then, you know, put your wires in there. It's easy to remove it. And then obviously I have my negative terminal block. And then in there is the brown that takes all the negatives from the fixtures up front. And then the negative goes down to my negative battery terminal. Now, let me move my seat. Now up front here, we have different connectors. This connector right here in my hand is for my turn signals. So blue is right, orange is left, and then the white is the signal from the flasher unit. Now in this brown and red one, this sends power. The brown is my negatives, and the red sends power up to this switch here. And then in this one, this connector here, the green 
goes down through the harness and feeds my brake light. And this yellow feeds power up to the brake switch, which is back here on the brake. Now, in this Wago is my orange. So this is my left, my left turn signal terminal block. So the orange comes from this connector into here, splits off, goes up to this connector, and up to my switch for my left turn signal. And then it also breaks off and goes to the amber function on this front fixture here. Now, same with the blue, the blue Wago takes this blue from this connector, which is bringing the goes back down towards the tail light or the turn signal on the tail light and then it breaks off goes into this connector here's that blue and then it goes up into this blue which is the right turn signal so that would be my right turn signal and then it takes off goes to the feed to, to the amber function on this fixture now this white bend it down so you can see it. You can kind of barely see the white. But this takes the... This is the white... This white takes the feed from this this white. So this is that turn signal. This is that right turn signal. So the blue is my turn signal. The brown is my negative. The white is for my low beam. So that's the white function on this this fixture and then here's the other one for the left fixture it's got my bl brown which is my negative which goes into this wire nut orange which goes down to here up through here turn signal and then that white comes down here so both these whites are the white f function on both of these go into the way go go up through this connector right here and that's my low beam function. The blue out of this goes straight up over into this one, which goes to my main headlight here. That's my high beam, and then the brown negative. So the black in this connector is my feed. White is my low beam. Blue is my high beam. So the white goes to the white function on these. The blue controls this, this fixture. Now, down here is my brake light. It's basically the same, it's just this connector extended up to here. And so this is my turn signal. The left, no, left feed right, high beam, low beam feed. This is a, a plug that I have wired for a horn if I add a horn to this. This is my left turn signal fixture, so the brown is my negative, orange goes to my turn signal, white goes to the white function on there, my low beam. This plug, blue is my high beam, goes up into this fixture, and then brown negative. Now this goes to the right one, this right fixture, and it goes Brown is my negative. Blue is my turn signal, so that controls the orange function on this. And then the white controls the white function on that. And that is my wiring harness. And so these three plugs are actually, or these two main three right here, are what actually are controlling them. And then these send the signals out to each co corresponding pl plug and down. I just bumped the tripod. I'm sorry about that. That block sends the feed down there and activates all the lights. And that is how my wiring harness works. Like I said, I'll leave, I'll try to link all these parts in the description. I bought all these connectors on Amazon. I bought these Wagos at Home Depot. Um, what else? Oh, the wiring, all the wires in here, all these these wires that aren't stock, so these are all came with, and then obviously each... Fi so every wire that goes down this way, other than the fixtures in this handlebar, is 
18 gauge. So what I bought is 18 gauge, 18 seven. So it's 18 gauge wire and seven of them. So green, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's seven wires. It had happened to be green, yellow, brown, red, blue, white, and orange. This is thermostat wire. You can buy it by the foot. I bought it by the foot at Home Depot. Bought like six, five, six feet of it for like 70 cents a foot. Um, so yeah, I'll, that's where I got everything. And then obviously I just got some zip ties and electrical tape and that. And then up on my workbench over here, out of, out of shot, is a sleeve that my girlfriend made of just some canvas with some Velcro that will hide this, that hides this and all these stay up here. Um, so I'll put links to everything down in the description below. And at the end of this video, I will leave a screenshot of this, my wiring diagram, if you want to look it over. And if you understand wiring diagrams. Yeah. But thanks for watching. I hope this cleared things up. If you wanted to do a wiring harness on your mini bike yourself. Or if you were just interested in how I got mine to work. So thanks for watching Pretzel's Garage, and I'll see you next time.